losing inventory that you could have potentially sure. sold to new clients? Are you kind of looking at it as it just is what it is. There's nothing you can do about it, but is that shifting anything for you in terms of how you're thinking? There is an element of, I think there's a wise patience and acceptance of what it is. Not, not a all hope is lost, not a like poor me. I don't think that's yeah. helpful, but I think it is like, there's some degree of realism that's helpful because it allows you to focus on the things that are in motion. So this is a great season to say, okay, I'm going to do more virtual. Like I'm going to do the challenge with our business is that as better than anybody, it's booked often six months out yep. or a year out. So when the spring gets messed up, people aren't booking the fall right now. Like very few people are like, you know how there's like a pandemic and everything is on fire. What if we did an event where we brought a bunch of people together in October? Yeah, yeah. You know, very few people are having that conversation. But I also think it depends on the type of industry you're speaking into. So I think that if you're a Sunday morning church speaker, I think you might have an earlier opening than if you're a corporate speaker. Yeah. So when like a Facebook says, we're not doing live events until June of 2021, and they come out and say that, and other right. companies follow their lead, that's different than a church that goes, we're going to figure it out. And we, you know, we're a big church right. and we figured it out and here's, and so a Sunday morning person might go, wow, that's already opened up or they're doing a Wednesday night service at the church. So I think it just depends, but no, I've got, I kind of am in a place of, I'm going to do as many virtual as I can. I'm going to find ways to serve, but I'm also going to build YouTube. Like I'm yeah. also going to invest in other things that every speaker has a part of their business that they haven't invested in. And this is a time to go, you know what? I'm going to create a brand new keynote. So when this is done, I have a great keynote that I've worked hard on because I wasn't traveling and here's, here's what I was able to create during that time. So I think that's how you have to look at it.